friends, my name is Kim Anderson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited that you're here to practice yoga with me today. Uh, if you've not subscribed already to my channel, then definitely do that. I'm going to have new content coming out each week and that way you'll be able to stay up to date on all of it. Today's flow is an energizing flow. Um, energizing because we're going to poke and prod into some spots um, with some movements that might not be super familiar. Um, so it's a little bit of a, of a good challenge for us. And I, I really stress the, the fact that um, I don't like to label things too much by saying it's beginner, intermediate, advanced, just because I think that mentally that will block us from even trying things uh, because we already kind of have an expectation about what's gonna happen. Um, it, I think it's better to just take the expectation, throw them out the window, let your body be the guide, so as you're practicing, you're going to feel what's too much. You're going to feel what's not enough. So if you're feeling strong and you want to keep going and try something a little more advanced, then you do it. If you need to take a step back and modify something, then you do that. And it should be that way every time that you practice. Um, so definitely just have fun with it. Um, we're here to explore, to play, and to try not to overthink. So we're going to start today's practice in child's pose. And in child's pose, you can choose to keep your legs together and bring your bum down onto your heels, or you can separate your knees about the width of your mat, and from there, walk your hands forward. So in one case, you're going to have your belly kind of coming in between your thighs, and in the other case, your belly will be resting on top of your thighs. So whatever works for you today, and bring your forehead to the mat, close your eyes, and begin to find deep, slow breathing in and out through your nose. Try to relax all of your muscles, relax all of your bones. Feel the force of gravity working its way down on you, pressing you into the ground. Trying to distance all of your thoughts, all of the chaos of the day, and bring your awareness fully into yourself. Trying to stay present, present in your body, present in your breath. And after your next exhale, making sure you get all of the air out of your lungs. Take a nice deep inhale into your nose, fill up your lungs like balloons. Try to feel like you're pulling this air all the way down to your tippy toes. Feel the expansion in your upper back and then hold it when you're at your max. You can't fit any more air in. And then open your mouth and let everything out. And feel that you're sweeping away the cobwebs, the dust. And then bring your breathing back in and out of your nose. Try to relax your face, drop into your body. And start to feel your hands and move your fingers around a little bit. Spread them nice and wide. And then lift your gaze, opening your eyes, to look into the space between your hands. On an inhale, Begin to activate your core. So you're pulling your belly button in. You're starting to draw your tailbone in. So it's like you're rounding your lower back. And keep that rounding as you lift your elbows and you're as slow as possible going to continue coming forward, shifting your shoulders until they come above your wrists, still drawing in your core. 
And then if your knees are as wide as your mat, you're gonna bring them a little bit closer together, aligning them underneath your hips. Press into the top of your feet. And then as you exhale, bending into your elbows, you're gonna to start to draw your pelvis down to the ground. Feel the rounding going into your upper back now. And as slow as you can, slower than you want to, feeling every movement come down onto your belly. When you get onto your belly, bring your forearms to the mat with your elbows directly below your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. From here, to get a little space into your lower back, you can maybe shake out your hips from right to left. And then coming back to center, start to press the tops of your feet into the mat. And your feet can be hips distance apart or even a little bit wider here if you'd like. Feel the activation of your legs. And then start to press your pubic bone down into the mat. And to do that, you're going to feel that a little bit of space opens up in your lower back, which is what we're looking for. Keep that activation in your legs. And then start to pull your arms, your forearms back. So it's like you're trying to drag your hands in the direction of your feet. Of course, they're not actually going to move, but the activation is there. Start to lift your head. Feel that you're pulling your belly button nice and strong. Begin to look in the horizon in front of you. And this is so much activation that you're starting to feel heat in all of your body. Relax your jaw. And now exhale, relax everything. And feel the difference between having that full activation and then letting everything go. And from the outside, you might not be able to even perceive a difference, but you certainly can feel one inside. <laughs> We're gonna activate again. So starting to spread your fingers wide again, pushing your palms into the mat, pushing your feet into the mat, activate your legs, Pull your pubic bone toward the mat and then drag your forearms back. Feel your shoulders going a little bit back. And it's like there's a hook in the top of your head lifting you up. Feel your heart shifting forward and relax your jaw. Everything nice and strong. Keep going and keep breathing slowly. And then release. And just pause for a second to see how it feels when you release that activation. From here, bring your right hand back next to your ribs. Your left hand stays where it is. And on an inhale, start to push into your hands, draw your shoulders up toward your ears, and then gently roll yourself onto the left side of your leg, your hip, with your left leg extended keeping your left foot flexed. Keep your right fingertips on the floor in front of you for stability. You can let yourself start to sag a little bit so your body becomes a bit of a, of a hammock, sinking down to the ground. And as you're opening up the left side of your body here, you can start to feel a contraction in your right side. So try to accentuate that a little bit more by pushing your left side down and really contracting this right side. From here, start to lift your right leg, flex your right foot, and you're going to draw your right heel in toward your body. Start to draw your shoulder blades together, and that means that your heart is going to get pushed a little bit forward. This is also really, really active. So pushing your left side of your left foot into the mat, everything is nice and strong. And then as slow as you can, begin to bring your right foot really active and place it on the mat in front of you. So it's going to be perpendicular to the side of your mat. And it's about half distance between your left hand and your left foot. Now, pushing into your right foot, you can feel here, if you bring your right arm onto your, your thigh, you can gently shift your knee toward your left foot 
and lift the inside of your right foot just to get a little bit of a stretch in the back of your right hip. Keep your left elbow a little bent for activation. And now starting to light up the side of your left foot, pushing it into the mat, push the entire sole of your right foot down. And on an inhale, bring your right hand up and over. So now you're opening the right side of your body and you're gonna feel your left side contracting. So the exact opposite of what we were just doing pushing your heart forward and trying to close a little bit of that space between your shoulder blades and just feel what kind of sensations this brings into your body. Does it feel challenging? And if so, don't be frustrated with that. Just accept what it feels like. Let it be. And then exhaling, slowly bringing your left hip back down, lifting your right foot, lengthening your right leg, and then gently placing your right hand down and rolling carefully, no flopping, onto your belly. Again, separating your feet hips distance apart, bring your hands at the same level of your shoulders, coming onto fingertips. We're gonna do the same activation in our legs. So pushing the top of your feet down, pushing your pubic bone down, open up that space in your lower back. And then from here, on an inhale, begin to pull in your belly button, let your chin drop to your chest, shoulders come to your ears, and you're gently gonna start to lift your chest off the ground, peeling it off the ground. Now you don't have to extend your arms completely here, just come up until you want to. No compression in your lower back, keep your legs activated. And on an exhale, the last thing you do is raise your hand, your head, and then you're gonna pull your hands back, shifting your heart even a millimeter forward, and then roll yourself back down. Now, if you do this slowly, you're gonna be able to feel every single movement in your back as you do this, in your body. Inhale, so imagine it's starting in your feet, this inhale coming up through your legs as they activate, pubic bone pushes down, lifting your chest, inhaling, and then it comes up and shoots out of the top of your head. And then exhale, try to bring your belly button down onto the mat, but a centimeter forward of where it was before. Rolling, rolling, rolling. One more time with your breath. Use the inhale to activate and to lift, Relax your jaw and exhale, rolling down. From here, looking forward, come back onto your forearms. Again, look that your elbows are directly beneath your shoulders, hands are firmly planted on the mat and your fingers are spread wide. From here, we're gonna turn on our core a little bit more by tucking our toes Preparing, so a little bit of a smile on your face as you inhale. And when you exhale, start to push into your forearms, push into your toes, and lift your hips. Try to keep your shoulders aligned over your elbows, and try not to sink down. Keep everything in a nice solid line, the crown of your head pushing forward, and pushing out of your heels toward the back of the mat. Feel the shakes. Feel where you're quivering without judging it and just try to breathe. When your whole body wants to go into block mode, just keep breathing. And then exhale, slowly come back down. Your right hand stays where it is, lengthen out your feet, bring your left hand next to your ribs, inhale to roll your shoulders up to your ears and exhale, roll onto your right side. Keep a small bend in your right elbow. And here you're gonna see that the right hand is actually not directly below your shoulder, but it's a little bit forward of it. For more stability, stay on your left fingertips and start to push the right side of your right foot down into the mat. And as you do that, you might even feel 
the lengthening in your right side body. Let yourself hammock down. You can imagine that you're a mermaid on the beach <laughs> with the waves splashing around you, or not. <laughs> Lift your left leg, and from here, start to bend your left leg. Bring your left heel in toward your pelvis, and just keep everything as active as possible. Feel that contraction in your left side body. Try to draw your shoulder blades together and push your heart forward as you lift your head higher up toward the ceiling. Relax your jaw. It's just a little bit of yoga. Now super slowly, with your toes spread wide, begin to bring your left foot in front of you, placing it perpendicular to the side of the mat. Somewhere in the area between your right foot and your right hand. Bring your left arm to rest on your thigh, and you can actually use your, your left arm to, as a little bit of leverage to push your leg away from you. You might lift the inner left foot and just feel into it a bit. Explore, be curious. Look for different sensations. Try to look for spots that might feel a little more stuck or need a little bit more prodding or poking. And then putting your the sole of your foot firmly down on your left foot. On the next inhale, push into the right side of your right foot. Lift your hips up and bring your left arm over your left ear. So opening now the left side and contracting the right side. Feel what happens if you begin to activate by dragging your feet toward each other. They don't move, but activate them by trying to pretend that it's like a magnet and your two feet are trying to get closer together. On an exhale, begin to lower your right hip gently, gently, gently. Lift your left foot, lengthen your left leg, and then roll onto your belly, placing your left hand at the top of the mat again. Open your hands wider than your shoulders, and again, we're gonna do our rolling with our breath. So activating your feet into the mat, activating pubic bone down, Inhale, roll yourself up. Try to really feel into it. And then exhaling, rolling down. Feel where you're building the strength. This can be very much like a, a nice massage in your back. Inhaling to come up. And exhale as slow as possible, dragging your hands back to drag your heart forward. And then one more time, inhaling to come up, lifting your head as the last thing, and then exhaling to roll yourself back down. Bring your hands to the mat right outside of your ribs, squeeze your elbows in, place your toes to the mat, and from here on an inhale, you're going to come up onto hands and knees. Exhale, your bum will drag you in the direction of your heels, but stay active, active child pose. From here, drawing your pubic bone in, inhaling to round yourself forward. And then exhale, lower your pubic bone to the mat, but lift your knees up if you wish. If not, you can stay in cobra with your legs on the ground. Bend your elbows softly, pull your shoulders back, and try to magnetize your feet and your hands toward each other as you give a little space to your neck and lift your head higher. Exhale, bending your knees, start to slide your ribs in the direction of your thighs and then lift yourself into downward facing dog. When you get into downward facing dog, 
take a moment to come back to your breath. You might want to pedal out your legs, feeling a bit of a stretch in your calves. And pedaling out your legs, start to move that a bit into your hips. And you can even move into your shoulders, a bit of free movement everywhere. Shake your head, yes and no, make sure that you're not carrying any tension there. And then come back to center and take a nice inhale into your nose. And then exhale fully out of your mouth. Try to get rid of anything that bubbled up that you don't need. Now bring your awareness to your left foot and begin to put more weight onto it as you inhale Lighten up your right foot and begin to lengthen it behind you, the heel going up toward the ceiling. Keep your toes facing down of your right foot. So it's like there's a, a rotation, an inward rotation with your right leg. And imagine how much length you're creating between your right hand and your right heel. On your next inhale, bending into your right leg, you're going to shift your shoulders above your wrists. Try to push into the mat to create space, and then bring your right foot down next to your right thumb. If you need to actually take a few steps to get your right foot up to your right thumb, then do so. Come up into low lunge, inhale, pulling in your belly button nice and strong, and opening up your heart. Relax your jaw, and then begin to turn to the right, opening your arms in a T, while you shift yourself forward, left hand under your left shoulder. Inhale, lift your left knee up, but you're going to turn onto the left side of your left foot, and then turn your right toes toward the right side of your mat, and you can heel toe your right foot more toward the center, and this is exactly what we did before. We started on the ground before, and this time not. Inhale to lift your hips. Exhale, right arm over your right ear, trying to contract your left side and open up your right side. On your next exhale, look down. Bring your right hand down. Turn your toes forward on both feet. And now, staying on your left toes, you can keep your right foot a little more to the right side of the mat. Shift into your right leg with your knee above your ankle and inhale, come into high lunge. Now from here, activate your left toes, push into them, and then you're going to shift your body forward, arms staying aligned with your ears and create a nice diagonal line from your fingertips down through your left heel. Nice and strong. Feel the heat you're creating in your core and in your back body. On an exhale, bring your hands down. The weight stays, shifts into your right foot and you're gonna lift your left foot behind you. Walk your hands forward underneath your shoulders, lengthen the crown of your head forward and your left heel back. From here, begin to bend your left knee, and the key word here is to try. Just try, see what happens. You're gonna keep your foot coming forward, your left foot, and bring it through your arms as you lower into the pistol squat. Bring your hands behind you, and bring your bum onto the ground. Both feet down, hands below your knees. Inhale, roll your heart forward and up, and exhale, rounding your upper back. Inhale, one more time, rolling forward. And exhale. From here, bring your legs up. Navasana, you can keep your hands behind your thighs, or you can lengthen out your arms if you want to play around with it. Lengthen out your legs. Try not to cave down into your lower back. So it's like you have a hook on your heart 
drawing it toward your toes. Widen your toes and just chill. <laughs> chill as much as you can while you're quivering and shaking. <laughs> Have fun with it. If you find it challenging, it's because we're building strength. It is challenging. Exhale, cross your legs, come on to hands and knees, and then find your way back into downward facing dog. Deep inhale into your nose, and a well-deserved exhale to let something go out of your mouth. You can do that a couple of times and try to release and come back into your fluid breathing in and out of your nose. If we are ever in downward facing dog and you feel the need to take a little bit of a, of a break and come back a little bit more solidly into your breathing, then come down into child's pose. The, the invite is not necessary. You can choose to do that whenever you need. And then you just come back and join when you feel ready. From here, pushing into your right foot, begin to inhale and lift your left leg up. Keeping the toes pointed down, pushing out of your left heel, and trying to keep yourself very central on the mat. You've got to realign to stay balanced here. Pushing firmly and evenly into both hands. On the next inhale, bending your left leg, pull it in toward your heart and shift your shoulders above your wrists. The more you push into the mat and spread your shoulder blades, the more space you're going to have to then set your left foot down next to your left thumb with one step or 10. Come down onto your knee gently and inhale, coming into the lunge, bringing your hands up to the sky. Try not to crunch your shoulders too much up by your ears, but stay nice and open. Lifting your heart up. On your next exhale, begin to rotate to the left, opening your arms in a T, really lengthening between your two hands, and bring your right hand below your right shoulder. From here, lifting your right knee, you're going to start to rotate onto the right side of your right foot, and you can shift your left foot a little more central. And stay on the left side of your left foot. Bend both knees. Try to drag your feet toward each other. Close the area between your shoulder blades and let your left arm open up over your left ear. A nice contraction in your right side and a really long opening in your left. Relax your jaw. And just stay with your breathing. Next exhale, look down, bring your left hand out. Turn all your toes forward. And staying on your right toes, shift forward so your left knee is directly above your left ankle. And then from here, keeping your hips squared, inhale to come into high lunge. Find your balance by finding a point on the ground fixed that you can look at. And then pushing strongly into your right toes, shift yourself forward, a nice diagonal line, stay really strong in both of your feet, pushing equally with your feet. Try to lift your arms a little bit higher. And then exhale, bring your hands down. From here, staying with your weight coming into your left foot, lift your right leg behind you, shift your hands forward so they're underneath your shoulders, and the crown of your head pushes forward while you push out of your right heel. And then again, we're just going to play. So bending your right leg. Now you can bring your right foot to, right to the ground and then just come to a seat. Or you can try to keep your right foot off the ground. Start to let it come in between your hands and come down into a pistol squat. If you want to play around for a minute with lifting your hands and seeing what happens, then you can do that. You might just kaboom, fall onto your bum, and that's fine too. Bringing your feet to the mat, 
hands below your knees. Inhale to roll your heart forward, looking up. And exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, coming forward, just trying to get some space in your spine, feel a little bit of sensation, and exhale, rounding, looking toward your belly button. Inhale, come forward, and then from here, we're going to take our fingers, our peace fingers, onto our big toes. Now, you, I might not have space because I've got the wall next to me, but this is going to work a little bit on our balance, so, and lengthening the back of our legs. So try to balance as best you can on your tailbone, engaging your core, and play around with starting to lengthen out your legs. Now you can keep your knees bent and just play with your balance, trying to lift your heart up. If it feels okay and you would like to start to really lengthen into your legs, you can use your fingers pulling on your legs to also, to, uh, pulling on your toes, to also pull your heart up, gazing at a point in front of you. And again, this is playing, exploring. Now from here, we're gonna try to let go of our toes ooh, 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 and see what happens and close your palms in front of you. Your legs might sink down, try to lift them back up, try to lift your heart up. Again, I remind you to smile, spread your toes wide and now go back and find, find your toes wherever they went. Inhale, again, try to look up and draw your heart up. And then exhale, you can bring your heels to the ground, feet, hands to the ground, and then shift your feet open to come into a wide leg set, V set. Bring one hand in front of you, one behind you to lift your pelvis up, shift it forward just to go a little bit deeper, and then set yourself down. From here, bring your left hand underneath your right thigh. Inhale, lift your right arm, rotate to the right, and then you can just gently bring your right hand above you, looking up toward the ceiling, and try not to cave down. So the reason we try to look up is so we're not curving our upper back and kind of dumping downwards, but we're trying to lift ourselves up. If you have space and you want to bring your left elbow to the ground and continue to come over with your right hand, you might find your left toe, you might not find your left toe, and that's fine. And just feel that lengthening in the back of your legs and in your right side body. Again, contracting a lot on your left side body. Inhale to come back up to the center. This time, lift both hands up, lengthen your spine. And on an exhale, bring your right hand and just kind of insert it under your left thigh. Inhale to lengthen up, rotate slightly to the left. And then exhale, you might just go over a couple of inches to, to bring your left hand above your, above your head to the right. Or if you'd like, you bring your right elbow down, continue to rotate upwards and your left hand might find a toe. It might find air. <laughs> Either way is fine. If you do this though, you wanna make sure that the left side of your bottom stays glued down to the mat. So if your hand, in order to grab your foot or grab something, if your bum lifts off the mat, then it's better to just leave the hand free and keep rotating up. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, bring your hands in front of you. And you can walk, just coming down onto forearms or staying up onto your hands. This is not a, a really active wide leg fold, but nice and gentle, starting to slow things down. From here, you can use your hands to lift your legs. Bring your feet in front of you, legs bent. And from here, lengthening out your arms, roll yourself down onto your back. Let 
your head come down, feel your back spread like, I don't know, oozy cheese or something on a piece of toast onto your mat. Open your arms, slide your legs out, and let your eyes close. Take a nice inhale into your nose. And then out of your nose or out of your mouth, exhale everything out. And let your body quiet down. We just did a lot of squishing and squeezing and poking and prodding. So let those sensations run through you. Take their course and then begin to slow down. So your body doesn't need your active thought to process and to digest. It just needs a little at a time. Release the in Shavasana. Trying not to disturb this process. your next inhale, draw in a deeper breath. Really feel the expansion of your lungs. Feel yourself fill up. And leaving your body heavy, exhale out. Feeling the weight of yourself on the ground. The next inhale, you can begin to move little parts, your toes, your fingers, and draw your legs together, gluing the inner part of your legs together, and lengthen your arms next to your ears. Make it a nice line from your fingertips down to your toes, and inhale to help accentuate that. And then exhale, starting to release and relax. Feel the softness in your face. When you're ready, you can bend your legs, placing your feet on the ground. Roll onto your side. You can stay here on your side for as long as you need, taking a few more breaths to start to reintegrate yourself into the day. And then when you're ready, make your way back to a seated position. Your legs cross in a big smile on your face. Try to feel if your body might be a little bit more energized, a little bit more space, a little bit more open. I thank you very much for practicing with me. We'll take one last inhale together. And exhale. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.